Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to go over how you can install WordPress on your own self-hosted Ubuntu server. Um, as you can see, I have the SXAT virtual machine with Ubuntu 22.04 LTS server installed. Um, so I'm going to get started right away. Once you have it installed, um, I'm going to log into the server. And we're going to enable SSH. That way I can use PuTTY to log in to my Ubuntu server. And it just makes it easier to copy paste commands. So let's go over sudo apt install ssh. I already have it installed. So I'm going to go sudo nano slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config. We're going to edit this configuration file to allow password authentication. That way we can use PuTTY and log in with our username and password. You're looking for this line, password authentication. Yes, it would be commented for you. You just need to remove the comment and then save the file. If you're using nano to save the file, it would be control O, enter, and then control X. Once you have that file saved, next step is to restart your SSH service. I'm going to go sudo service SSH restart. And once you have that done, you should be good to go. Next, we're going to open PuTTY. And I'm going to type in my IP address of the server. Enter. And then I would log in. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm successfully logged in. Uh, let me increase the uh, font size in here. So change settings, appearance, change. Let's make it 28. That's a lot better. Perfect. So once you're SSH into your server, um, now we can start our WordPress installation. So first things first, uh, we want to update our repositories. Once you have a fresh install, it's always a good idea to update your repositories so that you get the latest packages. All right, uh, next step would be to install Apache 2. By the way, I'm going to put all the commands uh, in the description as usual, and you can follow the guide in real time. Once your Apache 2 is installed, uh, next step is to install MySQL server. This should take a couple of minutes. Once you have your SQL server installed, uh, we're going to run MySQL SQL installation. Um, this is basically setting up some settings uh, to clear uh, test databases. You can set up password validation, how tough your password can be or how complex it can be. Um, for the first step, I'm going to validate password, say yes. The next step is how strong you want your password to be. I'm going to select low just for the purpose of this video. You can go medium or strong. It does tell you um, the requirements uh, where medium is numeric, mixed case, and special characters. Strong would be numeric, mixed case, special characters, and dictionary file. Uh, I'm going to select zero because uh, I'm going to be using a simple password. Uh, remove anonymous users. We're going to say yes to that. We're going to disallow root login. Say yes to that as well. And remove test databases. And then we're going to reload privileges tables. Say yes. And we're all done. Next step is to install PHP and some PHP modules for SQL. I'll say yes to that.
by the way, the entire install process should only take you about five to ten minutes. Um, it's not it's not that crazy or complex. So next step is to restart Apache 2. And now that we have our SQL installed, Apache installed, we're going to create a database called WordPress. So WordPress can use that. And we're going to create a database user, assign that user access to that database, um, and then exit out. So let's go sudo mysql. And let's create WordPress database. I am going to create a user now. Um, you can name anything you want in this case. I'm just going to use the username that I usually use. And password, I'm just going to call it password1. But you can set up something more complex based on your um, complexity requirements that you had set up initially. So just say yes to that. Now we're going to assign this user access to this WordPress database. So once again, I'm going to change the name in the command. Next, we're going to reload the privileges table by flushing the privileges. And we can exit out. So we have our database created. Next step is to get the WordPress setup files. Um, I'm going to move into a temp folder, download the WordPress setup files uh, by using curl. And then we're going to extract those files. So curl https wordpress.org. And then that should download the tar gz file. And then we can use tar command to extract that file. OK, so if I do ls, I should be able to see WordPress in here. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to go into that WordPress folder, do ls. And next step is to create a PHP or config, oh, wp-config PHP file from this sample file. So we're going to use. We're going to copy that file and create a copy, but name it differently. Um, so we're going to copy config dot or wp dash config dash sample dot php and call it wp dash config. So if I do ls, I should be able to see this file right here. And then I can go nano and edit that file. This is where we would specify our WordPress databases, etc. If I come here and then over here, I can type in my database name, which is WordPress. My username is going to be what I set up earlier. And then the password for me is password1. If you're using nano, you can press Control o and then enter to save the file. And then you can exit out of the file by pressing Control x so next, I'm going to copy the contents of this WordPress directory into the HTML folder, the var slash www slash HTML. I'm going to use rsync for this. As you can see, it's copying. Should be pretty quick to copy. Once the copy is finished, I'm going to move into the HTML folder. So cd slash var slash www slash HTML. I do ls. I should be able to see all the contents. And next, I want to assign permission to www-data user, which is our web server user. And I'm going to make this uh, HTML folder. Uh, I'm going to make www-data the owner of this HTML folder. So sudo so chown-r, and then you specify the user, and then the user again, and then the actual path to the folder. Slash R is it going to recursively assign ownership. So anything in the HTML directory would be owned by www-data. So I can press enter. Next, we're going to use chmod. Again, recursively, 755 for www slash HTML. And that would be it. If you do ls one more time, you're going to see index.html. Now, this file is basically the Ubuntu's uh, Apache server's default file. So if I go nano and do index.html, I will see this is Apache 2's default page. So if you were to go on to the website now by typing the IP address, you'll be greeted with this page, which is not what we want. We want our WordPress to take over. So I'm just going to remove that file. I'm going to call sudo rm 
index.html. And uh, I should be good to go. I'm gonna <clears throat> now we can visit the website, 1037.0.4. And as you can see, I'm greeted with the setup page. And I can select English, site title, I'm going to call it test. I can set up my WordPress user. This will be the user that I use to log in on the website. Um, I'm just going to call it password1. I know it's a weak password, but that's fine for this uh, lab purpose. And then I can type in my email address. So, And then it doesn't matter what you choose here. If you want uh, search engines to index your website, if you select it, it's not going to index it. So I can select install WordPress. That should take about a couple of seconds. And then it's successful. I can log in with the username that I just created. So password one. And as you can see, I'm logged in. Your full WordPress install is complete. I can edit the site. This is what it looks like right now by default. And then I can install plugins. And yeah, this is, this is a full blown install. Um, in the next video, I'm going to go over how you can install SSL to protect this website, encrypt the traffic. I'm going to go over how you can set up SMTP for email alerts um, or your contact pages if you want to. Um, I'm also planning on covering how to set up an e-commerce website using different plugins where you can create your own Shopify-like website to sell stuff if you want to. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'll try to respond to you as soon as I can. And thank you for watching.